Welcome to the homework for lesson 25. This is module 6 of first grade. Write your name here first. And looking at this, this is our approach, our problem solving method for word problems is, and there's our memory key for it, read, draw, write. That's RDW. Read the word problem first. You might be surprised how often that one gets skipped. Uh, draw a tape diagram or a double tape diagram and label. This is an example of a double tape diagram that is labeled and write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. If you're not sure how to do that, I'm going to give you plenty of examples here. Julio listened to seven songs on the radio. Lee listened to three more songs than Julio. How many songs did Lee listen to? All right, so part of my reading process is, all right, now we have a story and a question. The story is only two sentences long, and it's we have two characters, Julio and Lee. They listen to some songs on the radio. Okay, so what do we know? That's what we're going to draw on our tape diagram. Julio listened to seven songs on the radio. I'm just looking at that first sentence, and I'm going to draw a piece of tape that says seven songs in it. And it's labeled J for Julio. That's it. Lee listened to three more songs than Julio. So if Lee listened to more, his piece of tape is going to be more. That's Lee's piece of tape, L. And now his more, we know we don't know exactly how long Lee's tape is, but we do know how long the more is. And this part is the more, and we know that that's three. And then if that's three, this part here, we already know, don't we? Because it's the same as Julio's. So if Julio's is seven, then this piece here also has to be seven. And the question is, how long is Lee's tape? How many songs are in it? That's what we have. That's the question that we have to find out. So, and I'm just going to leave it. We can look at that right here. Oh, the 7 and 3 partners to 10. I can just write a 10 in there. I like to leave it as a question mark. And I'm going to write my number sentence and my answer statement. I've almost run out of room, haven't I? But I'm going to squeeze it in here. So my number sentence is the 7 plus the 3 put together is how long, how many songs Lee has. So that's 7 plus 3 equals 10. And I'm going to circle or box that 10 because that's the one I was, that's the number I was looking for. And I just need my statement, which I'm going to squeeze in down here on the right. Lee listened to 10 songs. And that's pretty much the, the steps I'm going to go through for all these. The problems might be a little bit different. The numbers and the tape diagrams might be a little bit different, but that's the process. Read it, then draw the draw your picture, and then write the number sentence and the answer statement. That's everything that you have to have. Shanika caught 14 ladybugs. She caught four more ladybugs than Willie. How many ladybugs did Willie catch? Well, okay, so Shanika and Willie are catching ladybugs. All right, that's the story. I know how many Shanika caught, but I don't know how many Willie caught, so I'm going to draw... Just read that first sentence and draw what it says there is. Shanika S. Her piece of tape. 14 ladybugs. That's it. She caught four more than Willie. Ooh. So here's Willie. If Shanika caught more, then Willie caught less. So that means Willie's tape is going to have to be shorter. And we don't know... We don't know how long Willie's tape is, but we do know the more, right? We do know that this is, we know that this, if this whole thing is 14, right? Then let me get rid of the 14 in the middle because that might be a little, make things a little bit difficult. I know how much the more is because it says four more. So that's this part here is the more. And I could label it M, 
for more if I wanted to, and I know it's 4. So if that's 4, then the rest of this part here, this part here has to be the same as Willie's, the same thing that I'm trying to figure out, right? Because you can see that these are equal. So I know, but I know the whole thing is 14 and I know part of it is four and I want to find out the other part. 14 minus four is 10. That's the number I'm looking for. The missing part and you can look at this it's almost like a tape diagram and if i can find another color i'll even draw this in here it's almost like a number bond i mean we have a 14 is the whole four is a part and this is the other part it's almost the same thing as a number bond it just looks a little bit different so 14 minus 4 that's 10 and i just need a sentence now willie caught 10 ladybugs Rose packed three more boxes than her sister to move to their new house her sister packed 11 boxes how many boxes did Rose pack okay so I'm going to draw a picture Rose that Rose and her sister are packing boxes to move and we don't know how many rows packed, but it was more than her sister. So here's roses. She's got more. Her sister, we'll just write S for sister. If Rose has more, sister has less. And we know her sister packed 11. So we know that this is 11. And we know that Rose packed, we know the more. This is the more right here. And we know that that is three. And we know that this is what we still have to find out, right? Because we need to find out this whole thing right here. That's what we really need to find out. So when we actually, we know what this sorry we know what this part is because we know what this part here is because if this is 11 then this has to be 11 because they're the same so this is 11 so the whole thing for rose is the 11 that her sister plus the three more and 11 plus 3 is 14 rose packed 14 boxes there and if you um worried about how to spell the words you need to write for your this this answer s sentence here if you're worried about that the words that you need are almost always in the question which i will highlight here they're almost always in this question right here and the question is the sentence that ends with a question mark. The whole thing, when I call the question, really, most people, a lot of times, first graders and everybody will think of the first two sentences, which are really kind of the story that get, tells you how to solve, it gives you what you need to solve the question. But that question I'm talking about is that last sentence that ends with a question mark right there. That's usually the one that has all the words you need. It has Rose's name in it. We need to know about packing and we need boxes and that usually has the words if you're trying to figure out what to say or how to spell it look at that sentence that has the question mark that's the one that usually you're going to rephrase it tamra just decorated 13 cookies and she decorated two fewer cookies than emmy how many cookies did emmy decorate so okay tamra decorated 13 cookies and draw that first Tamra 13 and she decorated fewer than cookies than Emmy well she decorated fewer than Emmy decorated more so Emmy's gonna have a longer tape and we know how many more because if 
Tamra decorated two fewer. Emmy decorated two more. That's the more. Or, you know, you could call it up here. You would call it the fewer if you wanted to draw it that way. Uh, how many cookies did Emmy decorate? That's what we're trying to find out is the whole amount that Emmy decorated. And just like we've been looking at before, if we know this part is 13, then we know that this part is also 13 because they're the same. So there I have to find the 13 plus the 2 put together. 13 plus 2 equals 15. Emmy decorated 15 cookies. And this is really just the same thing. This right here is the same thing as, it's really the same thing as a number bond. You've got two parts and the whole is what you're trying to figure out. You don't need to draw that number bond part. I just did that to show, I know some people, uh, most people are in the beginning are more comfortable with the number bonds because that's what we've been doing since kindergarten and uh, then the tape diagrams which are a lot newer so I, I try to relate them so that they maybe they make more sense Rose's brother hit 12 tennis balls Rose hit six fewer tennis balls than her brother how many tennis balls did Rose hit well like I don't like I don't know so I, I don't know what to do here so I'm just gonna draw what it says there is Rose's brother hit 12 tennis balls. Okay, so B for brother. He doesn't have a name in this story, so I'm just going to call him B for brother. And I know that he drew, he hit 12 tennis balls there. Rose hit six fewer tennis balls than her brother. So Rose hit fewer. Rose, so Rose's tape is going to be, if she hit fewer, she's going to have a shorter tape. Now, the question is, how many did, did Rose hit? We don't know. Um, Rose hit f six fewer tennis balls. Well, if she hit six less, her brother hit six more. So let's kind of fix this a little bit because sometimes your picture is like that. Really, it is. Sometimes your picture is like that. You find out later on that you have to fix it. That's why we use pencil for this stuff. So we know that her brother, we're going to have to make into two parts here because let's see, her brother hit a total of 12. And we know that if Rose hit fewer, then her brother hit more. So that's the more I'm looking for here. And we know what that is. The more, if she hit six fewer, then he hit six more. And if I find out what this part is, then I'm going to find out how many Rose hit. Because that part and what Rose hit, those are the same. So... I'm just looking at this like a number bond. How would you solve it? I mean, there's the whole, there's a part, here's the other part. That's a subtraction sentence I'm going to write here. 12 minus the 6 minus one part gives us the other part, which is 6, especially if you know your doubles. I'm going to put a box around that just so I make sure I remember that that's the answer I'm looking for. Let me make sure I did that on the other ones. Oh, I forgot to do it up here when I needed the 15. So I'm going to make sure I go back and do that again. And let me make sure, check that first page and make sure I remember to do it. I forgot to do it here. All right. And but I did get it on the first one, the second one and on the first one. So there I'm caught up. Sometimes it's like that. You remember something and you just go back and check it. All right. Um, and what and what is this six for? Oh, Let's look at the question for that. How many tennis balls did Rose hit? All right. Rose, so that's six. Then this is, this is also six. So Rose hit six. With his camera, Darnell took five more pictures than Kiana. He took 13 pictures. How many pictures did Kiana take? All right, so Darnell and Kiana taking their taking pictures. 
and Darnell took more pictures than Kiana, and we know how many he took. Okay, so Darnell D took pictures. He took 13 pictures. Um, and we know he, okay, we don't know how many Kiana took K. So this is going to be one of the ones where if he took more, then Kiana took less. And I'm going to have to fix this picture a little bit here. That 13 is going to be a total, right? Because Darnell has, he's going to have this, he's going to have the more. He took five more. So this part is five. And this part we're going to have to find out. And that'll be the same as Kiana's part. So the 13 minus, that's the more right there, the 5, I have to figure out 13 minus 5. You could use take from 10 to solve that, or you might be able to count it up from 5, or you might just remember it, 8. Oops, and I want to box that to show that that's the answer I was trying to go for there. Kiana took 8. Eight pictures.